Hi, everybody, and welcome to Bedtime Bible Live. When we when we left off the last time, Jesus had come into Jerusalem. He had made his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. That's what happens on Palm Sunday, which was last week Sunday. And he threw out all the money changers in the temple. And now we come to this day during Holy Week, Thursday of Holy Week. And on Thursday... Jesus had, oops, Jesus had a dinner with all of his friends. And that's what we're going to read about right now. And this would have been happening right about this time um, in the evening time on the Thursday before Easter. Okay. So anyway, here's where we come. Then came the day of unleavened bread. Unleavened bread is like bread that doesn't have any yeast in it. So it's real thin. It's kind of like a... Yeast is what makes bread kind of puff up and get spongy. So like unleavened bread is like a tortilla, kind of, or like a taco. It's just real flat bread. Yeah, flat bread, like that. So anyway, then came the day of unleavened bread on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. Jesus sent Peter and John saying, go and make preparations for us to eat the Passover. Where do you want us to prepare for that, he asked. He replied, as you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house that he enters and say to the owner of the house, the teacher asks, where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large upper room, all furnished. Make preparations there. They left and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table. Now, back in Jesus' time, they didn't really sit in chairs to eat dinner. You know what they did? What? They kind of lounged around like you're doing right now. Like they'd be on the floor, kind of like with a, <laughs> low, with a low table, like a coffee table. You know how sometimes we eat at the coffee table and we all just kind of spread out on the floor? You know what I mean? Like we're all just sitting around on the floor? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it was. <laughs> anyway, um... When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table, and he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks, and he said, He said, take this and divide it among you, for I tell you I will not drink again of the fruit of this vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, this is my body given to you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the su supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. But the hand of him who is going to betray me is with mine on the table. The Son of Man will go as it has been decreed. But woe to that man who betrays him. They began to question among which of them it might be who would do this. And also a dispute arose among them as to which of them was considered to be the greatest. And Jesus said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lorded over them, and those who exercise authority over them call themselves benefactors. But you are not to be like that. Instead, the greatest among you should be like the youngest, and the one who rules like the one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table or the one who serves? It is not the one who is at the table, but I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood. Those are our sound effects. Thank you, Luke, for the sound effects. They're not. Is it not the one who at the table who serves? But I am among you, and I am the one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you a kingdom, just as my Father conferred one on me, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So, let's talk about it this way. <laughs> So they're all sitting around. Oh, yeah. I am back. <laughs> they're all sitting around, Jesus and his friends. So look at I got Jesus and all my friends here. So here we are. 
Okay, and Jesus had some unleavened bread. Now, this isn't unleavened bread. This is like normal bread that we eat, but unleavened <laughs> bread would be very, very thin, right? Yeah, like this. Yeah, very, very thin. And he took some bread and he broke it. See how I broke it into some pieces? See that? And they were just sharing some bread together. They, maybe they dipped it in a little bit of olive oil. They always had olive oil back then. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Come on. Try it like that. And the olive oil is good. And they were eating together. And Jesus said, this is what Jesus said, you ready? Jesus said, this is my body, which is broken for you. Why was Jesus' body be broken? You don't know? Well, what, what's going to happen this weekend? Um, he's going to, um, he's going to, um, he's going to, um, die? Yeah. Yeah, so he's looking died. for the word crucify? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Jesus was going to be really hurt, right? Yeah. Come here. In fact, was, really in fact, he was going to be so hurt that he was going to die. That's pretty hurt, right? So when he says, this is my body that's broken for you, he's talking about the fact that he knows he's going to get really, really hurt. And then he says, do this in remembrance of me. Do what? Break the bread like that. Then he took the cup. And he had a cup, and it was, it was um, wine. But wine is a lot like juice that's made from grapes. Okay, so it was like grape, grape kind of juice, and grapes grew there, and grapes were around, and it was an easy thing for them to get. And Jesus shared it among all of his friends. So maybe he sipped a little bit, and then they, they all sipped a little bit, right? And he was just sharing it, and he said, this is my blood, which is going to be poured out for you. Why would Jesus' blood be poured out? What did they put in his hands? Nails. Some blood would come out. Yeah, that's how he died. So when he's talking about this, he's talking about the fact that he's going to be crucified, right? Mm -hmm. So he's sharing this meal with his friends, and he says, this is my body that's going to be broken. This is my blood that's going to be spilled. Celebrate communion. In remembrance of me. So you know when the adults at church celebrate communion? You know when we all walk up there and we get the bread and we get the juice and we share that ceremony together? This is what we're talking about. And it happened on the Thursday right before Easter. So after they celebrated that meal, they went out and they prayed like we talked about on Sunday. And the guys were supposed to try to stay awake, but they didn't stay awake. And Jesus was taken away. Taken away. That's right. And on Sunday, we'll talk more about the rest of this story. Okay? So have a wonderful Maundy Thursday, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.